And now the next step is to import our product to our Shopify store. So I'm gonna be dropshipping from AliExpress, which is the most popular place to dropship products from. And when you dropship from AliExpress, you can use a tool called Deezers, which makes things a lot easier. So this allows you to simply import any product from AliExpress to your Shopify store. And then it also makes fulfilling the orders a lot easier once you start getting sales. So I'm gonna leave a link to this tool down below in the description, so click on that link. And then once you're here, simply click on try it free. Then here you can simply create an account with your email and a password and then click on create account. And now here we can link our Shopify store by clicking on Shopify right here. And that will take us to the Shopify app store where we're gonna install the Deezer's AliExpress dropshipping app. So here we simply click on add app. Then here we wanna make sure that this is our Shopify email address that we have just used to sign up for Shopify with and then click on yes. Then click on install app right here. Then we're gonna to have to choose a plan for this app. I'm gonna go with the basic plan, which is free. So I'm gonna click on get started right here. And then here we're gonna click on AliExpress. So now we need to connect our Deezer's app to AliExpress. So if you already have an AliExpress account, you can sign in right here. I actually like to create a new AliExpress account for every new store. So I'm gonna click on register and then create a new AliExpress account right here. Then here we're gonna click on authorize. And now we can start importing products by clicking right here. Then we can simply skip the tutorial right here because I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know. Now we also need to install the Chrome extension for Deezer. So we're gonna click on home here on the top left. And then we're gonna click on Chrome extension. So you're gonna to need to use the Google Chrome browser in order for this to work. So we're gonna click on add to Chrome right here and then confirm add extension. And that will add the Chrome extension here to the browser. However, in order for us to see it at all times, we need to click on the puzzle icon and then make this pin icon blue right here. And then we can always see the extension here on the top. Now we also need to log into our Deezer's account. So we're gonna click on Deezer's right here. That'll take us to the homepage. And then we're gonna click on login and that should automatically connect our Chrome extension to our Deezer's account. So once that is done, we can go back to the AliExpress page where we're gonna drop ship the product from. And as you can see here on the bottom, we have a new button that says add to Deezer's which we're gonna to use to, to uh, import our product to uh, Shopify. So before we do that, I wanna quickly show you that here on the top uh, with your extension, you can also change some options. So here for the option, we're gonna leave this at all for the shipping methods. Um, if you're gonna sell in another country apart from the US, you also wanna change the country right here. So for example, if you would sell in the United Kingdom, we would choose United Kingdom right here and then also change the currency to British pounds. However, I wanna sell this product in the United States. So I'm gonna leave the United States and also leave the currency at US dollars. Click on update settings. And then I wanna reload the page again just to make sure that the import button works. And now I'm gonna click on add to Deezer's here on the bottom. And now it will import my product to uh, my Deezer's account. So now we can go back to our Deezer's uh, dashboard and click on import list here on the left side. And now we can see our product is on our import list where we can then push it to our Shopify store. But before we're gonna do that, we're gonna quickly click on edit product and then make sure we only import all the variants that we actually want to sell on our store. So here we're gonna click on variants where we can see this product comes in four different colors, white, green, blue, and pink. So for example, if you would only wanna sell the green version, we could simply delete all the other versions right here and then it would only import that one variant. So I wanna sell all the variants right here, so I'm gonna just leave it as it is. We can also click on the description and make sure we delete everything that we don't want to import. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna change everything manually anyway later on when we create the product page. And then we also have images, so we can just select all the images that you want to import to your Shopify store. And then what's also important to click on shipping info and make sure that the product actually ships to the country you want to sell in. So I want to sell this product in the United States. So I'm gonna type in United States, click on the search icon, and then I can see that the product 
is shipping to the United States. Now the delivery time isn't great, which is uh, very usual with dropshipping products. I might be able to find this product with another provider such as C uh, CJ Dropshipping or Zendrop or Spocket or something like that, where the, it's already in a US warehouse where I get a lot lower shipping times. However, in the beginning, I don't like to spend a lot of time trying to find the perfect supplier for this product because most products you're gonna find multiple suppliers, but uh, I wanna test this product first with some ads and make sure that the product actually works in the market before I spend more time finding a good supplier and making sure the shipping times are as low as possible. So that works fine for me right now. So I'm gonna click on save and, and then we can click on uh, push to Shopify right here. Here we're gonna tick also publish to online store and then we're gonna click on push to Shopify. So now we can go back to our Shopify store, click on products, and then we can see we have a new product on our store. 